Totem TV here, back again for another YouTube video. Before we get to the announcement of what this video is going to be about, which you probably saw already in the title, I wanted to give you a little bit of a back shot of my new background scene. So I just had fun today for about two hours playing through settings, watching YouTube videos, figuring the shit out because honestly, it's a pain in the ass to try to figure out all the lighting and all this all this stuff that's going on back here right i actually did hang up a couple things but i'm gonna get a video out that's gonna show you guys my whole office and show you like the whole process of building a gaming setup and doing all this stuff so just let, let you know this doesn't happen overnight it takes a lot of time i did put these frames up which you've probably seen you have also jane sunderland and uh, maria up here so i thought that would be pretty fitting to putting them right next to all the all the posters haunty creepy things the reason why it looks kind of creepy in here is because i want it that way I, I love halloween i love scary things i love it spooky so so without further ado we're gonna be playing silent hill 2 enhanced edition on pc we're gonna be playing the last episode today and hopefully finishing this game up not too long from now we're gonna be playing silent hill 2 remake isn't that dude that isn't that exciting like i'm so excited for that uh without further ado let's get to it here we go figure out okay we're we are here guys we are here we're in the final countdown it's the final countdown alright I need to find I need to find health ASAP I forgot where I'm supposed to go in this I think we have to go over here oh shit the camera's drunk <laughs> Okay, all these doors are locked. Never mind. I thought you could. Yeah, I guess not. There we go. Ooh. What I needed. Sweet. That didn't even do anything to my health, the hell. Okay, we got a bunch of shotgun shells, so we're not. Okay, I need to keep the suitcase. We're not gonna be hesitant to use our gun. Oh, what we got right here? The cool thing with the Silent Hill 2 remake is that you're gonna be able to turn off UI, so whatever way James faces when he's looking at an item, you'll be able to know where your where the item is instead of having to rely on oh that was scary, that was really loud. Jay Dude, I, I keep on forgetting what happens in this game, bro. This is scary. But yeah, so like no UI, you'll see where the items are based on where James is, which is really cool. We've already been through here. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? Did I scare you? Yeah, you did. Fucking Laura, god damn it. Get the shit out of me, little creep. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Well, have you? No. Is that why you're here, too? 
She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I'm tired of I love this song. So good. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. What letter? Wanna read it? But don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. God, the song. Oh, it's so emotional, dude. I love the piano. It sounds I get I'm getting chills right now. Oh. My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now and it by a beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James, I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me, but please give him a chance. It's true he may be a little surly sometimes. Surly sometimes, but he doesn't laugh much. But underneath, he's really a sweet person. Laura, I love you like my very own daughter. Things that had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Happy 8th birthday, Laura. Your friend, Mary. Forever. Woo! Yeah, a little teary here, man. Laura, this shit's fucking... How old are you? Oh, so sad. Um... I turned 8 last week. So... Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could... could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one, Mary. Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura. I gotta find it. Laura! Is that that's for the suit that's for the luggage I got or the briefcase. Oh! <laughs> oh dude, this is so scary. I don't know why I'm so scared right now. I don't like the sounds. Scary. I got two keys. Oh, there we go. Okay. Room 202. <laughs> You get a key to open up a briefcase that has another key in it. Bruh, what are the odds? 204. 
Oh shit. Okay, so that's that door. Watch this. If those monsters spawn again, I'm gonna be so mad. There's nothing interesting writing in the memo. What's this? What's that? Employee elevator key. That was a big key. Okay, so that is like a photo, right? Over here. What's this? Yeah, we have to get some ink to get the key. We got the elevator key. We got to go back this way. Uh, elevators over here. Save right here. We got full health, so we're, we're in good shape. Okay. Are we supposed to store our items somewhere, though? I thought we were supposed to store them in here. Shelf is empty. Potatoes. I got a Snow White music box. Cool. No! <laughs> yeah. 
Dude, this is. I'm in a scared mood right now. There's a can with no label on it. Okay, we have to get a, a can opener. Ooh. We are at an underground bar. Ooh, what's this? Okay, bulb. I tried to use a bar key, but it's too dark to find the keyhole. Bruh, it is not too dark, James. I think you need some reading glasses. Okay. Um. Okay, get on my way. Get on my way. Get on my way. <laughs> We gotta go back up here, I'm guessing. Got a hell of a new tape. And a can opener. Yay. Cool. Is there anything else over here? Uh. Shells. More rifle shells. Cool. Uh, okay. I think that's all we need to do. We go back down here. Oh, no, 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 no. This way. Open up this can that has a light bulb inside the can, I'm pretty sure. Get out of my way. Move. Move. Oh my god. Thank you. Get out of my way. Move. Well, now that I have a bunch of health, I'm not too afraid. Old can opener, old style. Light bulbs. It's so weird that it's light bulbs in a can, like bruh. James is tripping. Alright, now we can put the key in the hole. Yay. And kind of thinner. I think that's what we need, right? For the ink. Uh. Is there anything over here? Uh. Oh shit. Let's get our stuff back. Yeah, thank you. Alright. Oh wait, we should probably save. Just in case. Wait, no, no. Wait. Yeah, 
this. Dinner. Lock. Oh. Bruh. I, I could have known that. Cinderella. All right. Room three twelve. Are there any other doors? How do we get to the third level? I think we can only go up there after we do the. To get three of them, I think, right? So yeah, of course, there's three of them. I forget where the last one's at. There's a rectangle. There's a plate in front of the indication. Even so, I still want to believe that she was happy. She was happy. Beauty, both a blessing and a curse. That would be Snow White, Cinderella. Plus, shameful greed did stain her shoe with blood. So we got two, three, twelve. Let's go to number four. Lobby. Wait. Oh, shit. scared the fuck out of me.
Let's try this one. I can't get through. I don't think we go through here. I don't think this is the way. This is blocked off. Oh yeah, I know this. I know where we're at now. Oh no, I'm dead. No, I don't. We can use the elevator, I think. Right? back here so where we need to be security room is locked There's nothing else over here we can get to. 
Do we have to go back out? Yeah. What else haven't we explored yet? Can't get in there. Maybe that elevator? do anything when we get in the elevator? Yeah, we can't use it. Wait. No, we can't use it. Okay. outside. So we're good on this side. Go up those ladders. Take us to those. We can check those bathrooms again. Check the bathrooms, check the reading room. So we got the... Yeah. Let's go right here. These guys. All right, let's check the reading room. Is there anything else I missed? Wait. everything in the reading room all right so we're good on this side all right on that side we went in there reception let's go down let's go down to the reception let's try that out oh i think we have a key actually Maybe. where does this take us Oh, things is there. Okay. All right, let's go this way. Let's go down here. 
this last <clears throat> gotta find the last one where the last one's at I feel like I'm I feel like it's up here, I'm missing it. It's over here. It has to be. I'm missing something. I am loaded, bro. I ain't taking any chances, bro. Nah.
All right, uh, James Sunderland. There we go. to find out what James did. This is the turning point. Are you taping again? Come on. <sighs> I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. You know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. Ugh, it's too bad we have to leave. Please promise you'll take me again, James.
This is where Laura comes in and is like, James, what'd you do? She was sick? No. I killed her. You kill her! Why'd you do it? I hate you! I want her back! Give her back to me! I knew it! You didn't care about her. I hate you, James. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. She was always waiting for you. Why? Why? He's like, like emotionless. Like I guess he's just in shock, but he's not crying or anything. He's just like, uh.
Oh my god, so much health. Such a mind trip, dude. Oh, uh, it's Angela. Mama! Mama, I was looking for you. Now you're the only one left. Maybe then. Maybe then I can rest. Angela, no. Thank you for saving me. But I wish you hadn't. Even Mama said it. I deserved what happened. No, Angela, that's wrong. No, don't pity me. I'm not worth it. Or maybe you think you can save me. Will you love me? Take care of me? Heal all my pain? That's what I thought. James? Give me back that knife. No. I... I won't. Saving it for yourself? Me? No, I'd never kill myself. Bye, Angela. It's hot as hell in here. You see it too. For me, it's always like this. Mm. Boy, here it is. The nine squares. Yeah, buddy. Alright, let's see how hard this last boss is on hard, dude. Wait, your ass is whooped. Alright. Oh shit! I forgot about this. The two. Two, two pyramid heads? Fuck.
There is no Maria James. Time to face reality. I was weak. You did. That's why I needed you. I needed someone to punish me for my sins. But that's all over now. I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. Mary? What do you want, James? I, uh, I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Mary, what are you saying? Look, I'm disgusting. I don't deserve flowers. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here! Leave me alone already! No use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. It'd be easier if they'd just kill me. But I guess the hospital's making a nice profit off me. They want to keep me alive. Are you still here? I told you to go! Are you deaf? Don't come back! 
James. Alright, final push. Oh boy. She's creepy. When will you ever stop making that mistake? Mary is dead. You killed her. It's Maria's voice. Maria? It's you. But I don't need you anymore. What? You must be joking. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. And I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. That's what you wanted. I'm different than Mary. How can you throw me away? I understand now. It's time to end this nightmare. No, I won't let you. You deserve to die too, James. Oh, shit. Mary? <coughs> James. Forgive me. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. No. That's not true. You also said you didn't want to die. The truth is, I hated you. I wanted you out of the way. I wanted my life back. James, if that were true, then why do you look so sad? Mary? James. Please. Please do something for me. Go on with your life.
in my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. Silent Hill. Oh. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. Waiting for you to come to see me. But you never do. And so I wait, wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know I've done a terrible thing to you. Something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that. But I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here, waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this may be my last chance. I think you know what I mean. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I've missed you terribly. But I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Whenever you come see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me, or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. When I first learned that I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time, and I struck out at everyone I loved most. Especially you, James. That's why I understand if you do hate me. I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <laughs> Well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, I'm already dead. I can't tell you to remember me. But I can't bear for you to forget me. These last few years since I became ill, I am so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. You've given me so much, and I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. James, you made me happy. It's me every time, man.
Here goes Laura. Does uh, James adopt Laura now? So, yeah. 